Good morning. I feel a little bit better today, but uh, I still feel kind of uh, under the weather, so I'm not going to train. And I look over, and Mom Bear's nowhere to be found, so I immediately already feel worse because no one took me out. Because last night Jill was sick, so she didn't tuck me in, and which means I have nightmares. And so if I have nightmares and no one tucks me out, that means I'm going to have a bad night and a bad day. Ma Bear, where'd you go? Ma Bear? Yeah? Ma Bear, no one tuck me out. He was sleeping like a little angel. What? I won't bug you. You gotta tuck me out. And you have these guys on. This, these guys are don't fucking talk to me. My brother, you gotta tuck me out. Uh, you're supposed to tuck me out? No, but you didn't tuck me in, so it got automatically becomes default where you have to tuck me out now. Oh, my, my, my. Here you go. Oh, whoa. 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 <laughs> Why? Damn, you're so hot. I know, that's what a lot of people say. <laughs> no, like body temperature, you're really hot. Oh, you keep going. I know, I'm, I'm giving you the massage. No, no, you got to I think you have out. a pubic hair on your neck. <laughs> Why? Either that Why? or it's, look. Why are you putting it in my face? Why are you putting it in my face? <laughs> Why are you putting it in my face? Why? Gross, why was it on your neck? I don't know. It's right there. I'm an animal. Ew. I'm hungry. What do you want to eat? Can we just get some yummy breakfast? I know it's going to make me feel better since no one took me out. <laughs> do you want to get it delivered? No. Oh, I saw a place on Yelp. It has a lot of stars and it's pretty close. <laughs> we could just walk there. Okay, fine. <laughs> it was so funny. This I never heard anyone say it's got a lot of stars. <laughs> fine. It's got a lot of stars. Fine, let's go eat there then. Fine, I was about to, out, or I was in the middle of cleaning the rat cage because it's so yucky. Because we've been away for like a week. If I clean it when we come back. Fine. Alright, so this is the place we're going to try to go. It's called Impresso. And as you see, Ma Bear. Are you sponsored by Impresso? No, but I'm going on Yelp <laughs> and there's a bunch of stars. <laughs> And uh, they serve breakfast, brunch, there's, and there's pancakes. There's only four stars out of five. But that's pretty good. Four stars with like how many reviews? 169. That's not that good. And it seems like their specialty is open-faced toast. So what that food. is, is it's like uh, just bread that's open and they put toppings on it. And it seemed really simple. And since I'm uh, coming off of a uh, sickness... I think having something that's kind of light Junior. with a lot of fresh fruits, it's gonna I'm make gonna me feel good. I'm gonna call you out on beach. What? What? Why is it bullshit? This is what you want to go for. <laughs> How do you know? All right, so there's Where this you thing that oh, I switched. Can you click it back? So Gio, <laughs> I'm calling your ass out. She called my ass out because this is what we're really going for. If the camera can focus real quick, it's You're in the middle of the bear street. cappuccino. Look at that. Look how fucking cuny it is. Look, 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 look. Don't go, don't go, don't go. Street, who gives a fuck? Who, who gives a fuck if I'm in the middle of the street? Why do you give a fuck? I want to live. Look. Fuck, no. The oh, wait. Oh, I'm putting the bear next to your face. Look. See? That's the real reason. <laughs> You're crazy. Why? How am I crazy? I just want to be in the middle of the street. You're you crazy. You stopped, like, in the middle. You're you crazy. Like yeah. Crazy. But that's what peripheral vision's for. I knew it was still my really green. Bad. I knew it was still green. Mm -hmm. And you know that I'm a straight athlete. And so if you're a straight athlete, you can see people on your sides. You know what I mean? Like if you can see the sides, if you got that side vision going on, do you, know what, do you know what's up. I got side vision. All right, fine. So I got side vision and I knew it was still my green and I knew I was in the safe. Whoa, what was that, you Neanderthal? I have a lot of phlegm. Did you just spit on the floor? Yeah, I have a lot of phlegm right now. I don't want to swallow it. That's nasty. You always swallow, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you big cute. That tree, wow. <laughs> wow. So we are finally here after a three-minute walk. 
It's a long walk. What do you think you're gonna get looking at that menu? Uh, a pre-made pastry and a coffee. You don't want to try one of their open-faced toasts? That's what they're known yeah, for. No, it just sounds too crazy for how I feel. What, for what you're feeling? Yeah, it just sounds really crazy for what I'm feeling. It's too much going on. I want some pastry. You want forward. something super light, like just a croissant or something? Yeah. What about the, um, there's a parfait bowl right underneath the French toast. There's like fruit and yogurt. No, they lost me at gluten-free. But yogurt's good for your uh, digestive system. Not right now. I feel so clummy. I don't want anything thick. Oh. Do you want a juice? Like an orange juice or grapefruit juice? Yeah, I don't know if they have it. You might. be in here. Juice. There's the roots, carrot juice. There's all kinds of juices. There's a juicery right across the way from where we live. And that's so much fresher. They make it in front of you. Fine, you'll go there after? Yeah. I think both of us should get juice. For sure. I think both of us should get like the... Like one of those kale infused, like 7,000 things yeah. that looks all clean but it tastes good still. One of those juices. I'm down. That's what I'm getting, for sure. Okay. I need to figure out what I'm going to drink though. Get the bear, bear cappuccino. I have an avocado if you want it. Oh! So our food came out and I got what I was hoping for. You, the, little, you little shady. The bear cappuccino. Well, actually, I got the Impresso Latte. It's a sweet latte. What did you get with the I got swan? the white mocha latte with Iswans. And so you just got your croissant? Yes, an all night croissant. Holy oh. moly, that's LA for you. <laughs> and I had them toast it, so it's nice and crunchy. Is it flaky? Uh-huh. Ooh. Super flaky. And then over here, I got the open face toast, which I've never had before. But I heard in Norway, open face toast is a huge thing. I never had it before, but the reason why I'm willing to try it is one, I really love French toast. So I love like sweet toast in the morning for breakfast. And this toast is made out of brioche. So I know it has that intrinsic sweetness, which I like. So even though it's not grilled or it doesn't have an egg on it, I'm cool with it. And then I got a yogurt parfait because I just thought having a bunch of fruits and having uh, like the probiotics was gonna help me feel better. So this is our morning breakfast, and this is one of the most chillest days in downtown LA, actually. Yeah. Oh, it's Saturday. Is it Saturday? I think so. Oh, completely forgot. It's but, a weekend. So I'm having a lovely breakfast date with my mom, Bear, in Next the middle. they have like a, a puppy. <laughs> a puppy. <laughs> And they have a, a speed place, the place called here, next, right next door to where we're eating. Yeah. And they're nothing but treadmills and stuff, so that's where the music's coming from. Oh. They're what's, like running and like... Oh, it's like a spin class, but with treadmills? I'm assuming. I don't yeah. know. I can I, just hear them. So that's what you guys are probably listening to. That's we're, not at a, we're not at a club eating breakfast, guys. Fine. Time to eat. So, oh, it's time to eat shit I've been eating. Just finished eating our breakfast. And it's super cutie because Pa Bear and Ma Bear don't really have time like this for ourselves. Lately we've been trying to a lot more, but uh, this is super cutie because right now, in the middle of eating, we started talking about future cars because I want to be a mommy soon. And we're talking about mommy cars, and I said one of the mommy cars that I am looking into getting is a Range Rover Land Rover. So it's either the L LR4 or the Range Rover Sport. And then Pablo was so excited that I said I wanted the LR4. Look at him. He's just like trying to find me all kinds of videos. Because uh, for before I got the Silverado, I was juggling between the LR4 and also Silverado. Because out of all the Range Rovers, like if you guys know me, like I really like rugged stuff. And Range Rover... That's why he's with me. Yeah, she was extremely rugged. So, <laughs> so I'm rugged in the face. So Land Rovers and Range Rovers, they're known to be luxurious. But I wanted something that can handle some shit. So I got put on the LR4. The only problem is that the back seat is made for mid-sized adults. And you guys know, I mean, I had a Tacoma, and that's also good for mid-sized adults. But all of our fitness friends They're are... They're fucking beasts. Extra large adults. 250, 300 pounds, 6'3". So because of that, I was like, oh, man, that immediately canceled this off the list. And I had to get a Silverado because I need something for big-ass motherfuckers. But as soon as Mod Bear told me that she wanted to uh, get... Your uh, panties uh, got wet. Land Rover, I was like, gotta get the LR4, LR4. So now you I'm didn't even tell me LR4. I was looking on my own. So I was just looking on their website. And then I just looked at, because they show you pictures of different models. And I'm like, ooh, what's this one? He's like, oh, it's the LR4. You got to get that one. I'm like, oh, shit, Papa, we have the same taste. It's kind of cuny when uh, we share the same taste. Because I'm not 
I mean, <laughs> I know you guys already noticed, <laughs> but I'm not like your stereotypical like girly girl. I don't know, am I tomboyish? You're very tomboyish. I'm very tomboyish. You're very uh, Tom manish. Yeah. And that's what I love about you because I see a lot of like a but lot of my Tom friends. Tom manish. A lot of my friends, um, like the guys are guys and the girls, they're very girly. So they always clash. Butt yeah, they always clash when they're trying to get something for the fam. So for the fam, like the, the girl wants, oh, can we get the silk curtains? And then the guy wants, like, can we get, can we get the barbed wire curtains? I want the barbed wire curtains and I want the bullet drapes. And I also want the quicksand floor. But the girl's like, can we get the fucking silk curtains and the fucking pearl necklace carpet? And then so they- Oh, uh, uncomfortable so, carpet. So they always like fucking clash. But for me, I'm like, can we get the military green truck with the with the vinyl wrap and you're like fuck yeah bitch so i'm like awesome we agree <laughs> i'm a tom man <laughs> that's yeah. so rude no but that's why i love you i love you mom bear i wouldn't have it any other way i i, I wouldn't be able to be with a girly girl fine for reals fine well that's comforting but yeah, that's exactly the conversation that we're having right now over Bear Cappuccino and what used to be a Swan Cappuccino. That's the conversation Pa Bear and Ma Bear have. Can Just I, in case you were wondering. Huh? Can I show you the, my favorite color for a Land Rover? But yes, I don't think yes. They, they don't offer it for 2017. Not that we're getting a car anytime soon. We're not. This is actually when my lease is up in another two years. <laughs> yeah. But, <laughs> but um, what happens if we have kids next year? We have a big ass Silverado. I think we're going to be set. We're gonna be good. I don't like driving the Silverado. What? Fine. I sound like such a spoiled brat right now. You do. You you always do actually. God, what a bitch. You always, 100%. Promise? But this is I the, sound like a spoiled bitch. This is my favorite color of it. I don't know if you can see really how, tell. You see how he's ignoring me? I can't. Smart man. Men learn from that. <laughs> That's how a marriage lasts. I can't. You just ignore her. You go, yes, honey, but not really. You're just like, yeah, you're a bitch, but then you just move on with your original thought. I don't know. I don't know if you can you see, tell. See, he's still like no. I, I don't know if you can tell the color, but uh, let me see. But this is my favorite color of it. It's this is copper color. I don't know if you can really oh, tell, but it's a it's like a it has like a hint of orange. It's kind of copperishy. That's my favorite LR4 color. It comes in that color with the black wheels, and if you tint it, oh my god, that's fucking fly as a mother motherfucker. Yeah, it's fucking I saw the one in red with all the accents in black, and that was pretty fly as a motherfucker. That's pretty tight too. But then this one though. Oh, 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 wait. See, look, look. This one though. This color is fire. Tilt it down. There you go. You don't think it's fire, babe? Uh, of, I don't like that, it. Black wheels, full tin all around. Oh, is it flat black wheels or what type of wheels? Whatever the black wheels that come with Range Rover, a okay. Land Rover. It's fucking. It's fire. all right. It looks like a grandma color to me. Oh. In this style, of, I maybe have to see it in person. Oh. <laughs> maybe I have to I'm, see. I'm it. gonna take your Tom Man card away. <laughs> you that's were, good. That's I good. You were a real Tom Man. I have to. Not, I have to not. see it in person. You're, you're so he expects again. me you're to. Girl again. He expects me to understand everything that he probably already saw a bunch of these in person on the street. I've yet to see it. I see it on this glossy ass phone. I don't like it. To me, it looks like a grandma color. That's it. I, I'm, I think I'm being fair. I'm saying let's see it in person. Even though I'm not going to get it for another two years, let's just see it tonight. Let's, let's see it today. We Put can't me do in that. my place. You know what happens. When we go see stuff, when we went to go see the Silverado, we came home with one. What are you talking about? You don't even make any sense. I'm going to oh, let's, not, let's not look at houses because you know what happens. We look at a house, we buy. Oh shit! <laughs> That's what happened. We can't see shit. We fall in love easy. Yeah, uh, we're in the process of getting a house. Actually. And we. But we've been saving for it. We're not careless spenders. We're yeah, not. We're, we're not. not well, spending. one, we're not careless spenders. And two, we ran out of fingers there. Two. Um, I better start this way. Two, I do a lot of research, kind of like David. Like David likes to research Did cameras. You fart again? Just be quiet. It smells so bad. <laughs> I do a lot of oh, research. Oh no 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 no! We're not talking. We're not. Talk he farted. We're not talking. We're not talking. This is nasty. Go yell what you wanted to say. So I also do a lot of research. So before we even go see anything, 
I already know a lot about it. That's why it's easy for us to just sign on the dotted line once we finally... See, that lady's laughing because she knows he farted. Look at him. He's disgusting. everything about everything that I get before <laughs> I go there. I, I did massive stuff. Wow, you just shut up. About the Land Rovers and Range Rovers and all that stuff before I even looked at this. Fine. You test me. You know what the Land Rover has? The Range Rover. Range Rover Sport. LR4. Discovery. The Evoke. You're I don't even own a Land Rover. But that's how much I know about these motherfucking things. I do my research. When we're about to buy our house, guess what? I found oh out, God, why does it still smell? I found who the developer for our house was. Olsen Homes. You know who else they built? They also built homes in Temple City, built homes in uh, San Gabriel, <laughs> and also uh, they're building a couple homes in the OC. I do my research, so I am not reckless. So as sick as and cuny as Paw Bear is right now, he still needs to shop. And that's crazy to me. If I'm, I'm sick... I'm not trying to shop. We're going to go to Europe soon. I know. I would probably get it on Monday or something. No, I don't have time. I know how busy we are. So, like, because the Urban Outfitters is right next to where we're eating, I was like, we might as well just come here and bang it out so I don't have to worry about it. And I literally have anything or everything we need for our Europe trip. What are you looking for? Well, I'm looking for joggers. I have joggers at home, but I got a little bit fatter. Um, is it specifically joggers? Because this, does this not qualify? These look comfortable and the colors are really cool. This color is really dope. I need something that stretches with me. Does that stretch? Oh yeah, it does. Let me see what size. I have to see if it fits though. I think you already got that color, didn't you? This color? No. Oh. I got a rust. Oh, this is a medium. Hell no, I think it don't fit. Oh, there's only one left. Are you kidding me? I need something that's going to fit my big booty. You know, one of the, the things that sucks about having a big booty is um, my waist is like a 32, but because of my booty, I need something that's like 36 to 38. I can kind of relate because um, I have a small waist, but then my lower body is fat. Yeah, so like every time I get I something like, that like I fits you. my waist, my pockets are about to burst. But then every time I get something that fits my booty, there's like a big ass like gap up here. So Me. ever since they brought the elastic band back, I was like, hell yeah. That beanie's dope too. What's up with all these tiny ass sizes? Everything's a medium. Fucking downtown hipsters. Small. Oh, Maybe on. all the meat, all the large people came already and bought them. You no, snooze, you lose. I didn't ask them. I didn't ask them for help. Obviously the worst, cause I pretty much have everything I need for my trip, but I'm still shopping. I'm still gonna look around. I love this store. I love a lot of the stuff that they carry. Like, look at this. It's cute. I don't need it. I don't need a lot of things, but I'm still gonna look. What do I need? Oh, this bra's pretty cute. I don't even know what that's gonna do. Maybe it's to sleep in. I don't curl very good, so I always, when I shop, I always have to touch the material to see if it's soft. I'm always like the toucher. I'll see something. So I'm looking, right? Scouting, oh, this looks soft. Oh yeah, that's soft. All right, scouting, oh. Oh shit, this is soft too, surprisingly. Wow. What is this? See, you gotta touch it. You gotta see if it feels good. If it feels good, then you can try it on. At least that's how I work. All right, I think Paw Bear was successful and they got him his size. I think in only one color too. What are you doing, you weird guy? I was hiding from you. Why? I don't know, I like messing around with you, but uh, they found one of the colors in a large. So finally something can fit my booty. I'm going to grab another one, the burgundy one. And then uh, that way I'll have more things to... Fine, I'm going to look around. You don't want to see me try it on, see if it looks good and fits good? Yes, you do. Thank you, Mom Bear. Fine. What? Tupac? It has his own clothing line? Crazy.
I like how he has to walk to the beat of the song. So here are the pants. What do you think? I think they look a little big. Let me see the waist. So Let me see the butt. Like... It looks too big, but then it looks like it's too small for your butt. I know, but I don't think these are like jogger joggers, because I think joggers, they taper down. These ones, there's a little bit more room at the Yeah, front. it looks a little funny. So no, or yeah? It's all right. They're all right. They're kind of weird. Really? Sure Don't, get Don't get it. They look weird. They're pretty nasty. Those guys are so huge now. This is Peppa. That's Pepper? Yeah, but she is fucking fast. You better not let her drop on the floor <laughs> or know. else that guy is going to freak away, it. Go away. He's licking his mouth. Uh-oh. This one's salt. Dang, they got so big. Why don't you put them in front of Meatloaf's mouse and see if he wants to... They're going to jump right in there, and he's really good at catching stuff that's flying in the air. Manny! No, Ugh, is that dookie? It is. This is their little holding area. I know I have to wash my hands because there's a bunch of piss and stuff. Ugh. But while I clean that... <laughs> what else am I supposed to do? So in the five minutes you put them in here, they already dookied? Yeah, they get scared in the poop. How many? They're really cute. Can you tell me after you wash them so I can play with them? Yeah, I'm gonna. I like putting them. So then I'll put them in the bathtub, and then um, I put shampoo in there. Yeah. And then there's enough where there's a lot of water, and the other half is no water. And then yeah. they run in the water, and they go. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. They take a little shower, and then they run away, and then they start getting dry. And then they start doing the the cleaning thing with their ears. How do you feel about living with rats, Nadim? Uh, I thought it'd be like a lot more fun. Cause we get to play with them. Yeah. But uh, I think we're too worried about the dogs eating them. Not the dogs. A dog. A dog. Those those two don't give a shit if you turn around right now slowly. Yeah. They're, <laughs> they're preoccupied. <laughs> they don't give a fuck about anything. But I thought it was like we were gonna play with them. And we still do. We get to put all like, our hands in the cage and stuff. But it's not like we let them like roam not. free. They get a huge place to roam free and have fun. So that's like heaven for them. It's that butthead. But we just get to watch them. Who's that guy. Stupid. He Look keeps licking his lips. Yeah, he keeps licking his fucking mouth. That's all he does is just sit, sit next to the cage. Yeah, I like the other two. Look. The lesbian they lovers. Here. They're sisters. What the hell? Lesbian <laughs> sisters. <laughs> and then so Meatloaf giving himself a blowjob. <laughs> and then he gets pissed when they have too much fun. He starts barking at them. Fine. Are you going to finish the mouse cage? Yeah. Are they humping? What are they doing? No, they like to just be on. Oh. They like to stay really close. Because they're all girls, right? Yeah. Are they all girls? Yeah. I heard yeah. some like rattling in the cage out there. We're going to have a bunch of little. No, girls. I would not mix the sexes for sure. She got all girls because um, they reproduce really quickly. They go and so, see every five days. So if there's a guy and a girl, we'd be fucked. Yeah. They'd be fucked. They'd be fucking. Yeah, we would have so many babies. They're like, cool. I don't know. Taking care of three already is kind of crazy. And then we have food for meatloaf. Oh, yeah. Oh, he likes to start licking food. his chops. Oh, no. Now he's licking his dick. Never mind. Awesome meatloaf. What? Now we're, he's done. Damn, that was okay. I love the other two, though. They're completely oblivious to their lame brother. Big cuny. Why? I just heard all kinds of commotion in here, and I was like, what's going on in here? I'm cleaning all the rats stuff. You're a good mommy, you know that? I just don't want them to get sick. Because even last night, you were telling me that, like, oh, I feel so sick, but I still got to clean the rat cage. Yeah, I felt so bad. And I was like, damn, you're such a good mommy. I felt really bad. I feel like any animal or person that's in your care, they experience heaven. Promise? Yeah. Why? 
Look, look how much effort you're putting into cleaning <laughs> these little fucking toys of theirs. Well, I mean, they're just cool. And they're feeder rats. They're rats that were meant to be fed to another animal. And you're like, well, if they're under my care, they are going to be royalty rats. They're... Everyone deserves a fair life rats. <laughs> you bikini. You hear me, look? Oh, shit. What's going on out there? Cool. Nads, what's going on out there? Me loaf. Me loaf. What were you doing? You know you did something. What were you doing? What were you doing? Oh, where are you going? Wow. Wow. He's lying to you right now. I know. Look me in the eye, Meatloaf. What were you doing? You can't even look at me. It's so funny how they do that, because like every time I'd yell at him, yeah. he'll come in with his head down. And then until I pat him, then he's like looking me at, at the eye again. Don't you dare suck your own dick. Don't you dare. How dare you pleasure yourself in front of me. <laughs> Why are you looking at me now? Now that's weird. After you lick your own wee-wee, now you look at me? You're a weirdo. All right, so you went downstairs to get a package. And for those of you that know, we have, or those of you that don't know, we have been waiting for a new camera because the camera that we're currently vlogging on is getting super glitchy. It's just fucking up all the time. It takes forever to focus. So we've been showing you every single package that comes in and slowly we've been piecing together. So we got the lens. We got the... The mic. The mic. The new Gorilla Pod. Gorilla Pod, and I think that's been it so far. So hopefully this package means it's the new camera. This is the final piece. Hopefully it's a camera, or it could be gun parts. But hopefully it's the final piece. You bought piece. gun stuff? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I didn't. Why would I say that? Whatever. So hopefully it's the final... Oh! oh it, it is! Da, 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 the final piece <laughs> to the puzzle. Sorry for yelling. The rats got really scared. I'm still cleaning their cage. Finally, <laughs> the piece, the final piece. To the puzzle is now officially here. Oh, why am I opening this? this I don't know. I thought this was the camera. All right, so this is the camera. Camera body, the new A6500. It just came out recently. You're probably like the first person to have it. I know, it just, it literally just came out. I think we're going to cut this vlog right now and start vlogging on the new one. Not until after I assemble this mother thing. Ever. Bullshit. What the fuck is this bullshit? Oh. Alright, so what, what can they expect now? Because for me, I honestly can't tell the difference from camera to camera, right? <laughs> and I'm going to just say that the average person, average, also doesn't know about cameras. They probably think their iPhone is a shit. And, they, and with, good, uh, with good reason, because the iPhone is pretty good. But, please explain what, what, they, what, they can, what is oh, up and the, coming. Uh, 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 so, one of the things that I think everyone can tell is when this camera starts getting really glitchy the focus is off yeah so there's, time, do it. there's times where we're vlogging like this and we're talking and it's focused on like a painting in the back yeah and the face is blurry yeah so that's one thing that will be rid what we'll, we'll, we'll get rid of because this autofocus is hella good the second thing is um because the 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 focal range on that camera meaning like how much it zooms and stuff it's not as wide as this bad boy. So for us to fit in our whole face, we have yeah. to have our arm like locked out. Yeah. This one is a little bit better. So I could probably be here and I'll achieve, I'll be able to get my whole face in. And uh, we're also getting new, better sound so that it won't <laughs> sound so crazy. And a new lens. 
That is so fucking big. No, it's not. That is huge. This, for what it can do, this is pretty small for what it was. But this thing is way better than like the old school 5Ds and all those bad boys. All right. And those guys were huge. Yeah, no one Show, show them how, like, this is how it's supposed to look. Yes. For the quality. Oh. Compare on that grill apart. That's huge. Yeah. That is huge. Yeah. But I think they'll be able to tell a huge difference. Because these cameras, compared to this one, is a huge difference. No, I have an envelope opener. Oh, we shit. eat with that. <laughs> You're so gross. What do you mean? I have an envelope opener specifically so that we don't mix our food stuff with shit that has fucking anthrax. Anthrax? Yeah. What are you talking about? Yeah, this, whoever made this box is so weird. Oh. You already dropped the screw. Screw it. <laughs> You're dumb. <laughs> you it, man. You did. What is, what is that? What is that? This is. Probably... I don't know. Just oh, save I think it. Oh, it's the protector for it. Oh, it's true. The protector, man. Oh, it's it, it's if you have a bigger camera with a bigger thread, so you throw this one on it. Oh. oh. <laughs> is that the small thread or is that this one? Oh. Uh, just to let you know, what he's screwing on is exactly the same one that I have, that it's in perfect working condition. Just putting that out there. What does that mean? That you like to spend money for no reason. No, because that's going to be the backup camera. So if this thing has problems... Then why do we need an extra gorilla pod? Because that's going to be the backup gorilla pod. No, no, no. You just like spending money. Actually, I think we, I, might, I might need to screw it on. I don't know. We'll see. Can you hold this? Just kidding. Damn, not the big ass fucking mic. He is so excited right now. You can tell by his heavy breathing and the fact that he's probably sweating right now. I bet you if I were to stick my hand in between his legs, his ball sacks are sweating because he's so fucking excited. Is that pretty accurate? You're gonna lose all the pieces. <laughs> no, I'm not, dude. You don't know anything. That is fucking ridiculous already. See, we're doing this so that you guys can have better sound, better images, and you guys don't get dizzy when I'm vlogging. Because this does, this camera in particular doesn't have per, uh, good image stabilization, so when I'm vlogging, it's like this all the time. And I'm, and I'm standing still. I don't even know how it moves like this. So that'll fix a lot of the problems that you guys see. Wow, that dude. That camera actually has image stabilization. You just also have to get better at the camera beam. That's very true. But Holy this one does have shit. better image stabilization. That's huge, dude. People are going to think we're filming documentaries all the time. That is ridiculous. Is battery? I did put a battery in there. Oh, nice! Oh, my prayers have been answered. Yeah, you don't have to take off the Gorilla Pod. That, that stupid ass camera, the battery thing is right underneath the Gorilla Pod. Now we can swap it out. Oh. Oh. Well, it's crazy because they were made by the same company. So maybe they didn't think people would be using a Gorilla Pod on this. Wait, is this battery no battery? It's probably drained. Usually the battery they give you a half charged battery. Apple. Apple, <laughs> yeah, on the phones. <laughs> Damn it. Are you kidding nice, me? Nice, Nadine. God damn, you gotta be fucking kidding me, dude. Now you gotta wait. You gotta put your boner away and just wait a little bit. Alright, so uh, give us about 20... No, give but us about I'll two be, hours. I'll be vlogging like this from now on. How That's not... <laughs> it's not that crazy. It's not that crazy. Oh, it's actually pretty light. Is let it? me see. Yeah, let me see this. We'll swap. Oh, that's a big difference, though. Oh, yeah, this is heavier. I can't go like this. Really? Yes, this is heavy. I think you'll get used to it. I mean, I will. You do work out. I do. But you know, the good thing about heavier things too is it's already more stable. Sure, I said that. Alright, so. I gave her a compliment, so she's going crazy. She doesn't okay, care about if it's stable. What did you or say? Not. I'm saying, like, things that are heavier. Oh. Things that are heavier are more stable. So when it's heavier, it's less likely to go. It has its own weight. Fine. But I also gotta get a 9 volt battery. Oh shit. I only know 9 volts is the square one that you put on your tongue to test out if it's what? working or not. You didn't do that? No, what the hell? Oh. 
Okay, bye. <laughs> what the hell just happened? Who was at the door? Catch me up, because this shit is crazy. So. <laughs> this is what happens when you move to downtown LA and you wear fucking Angry Birds pajamas. The missing piece to the puzzle for this whole thing, I charged the battery, that works, but we didn't have a 9 volt battery. So we tapped into Postmates and we got batteries delivered because we're busy LA people, we don't have time to go to grocery Oh store. yeah, busy. So I got the batteries. <laughs> So a guy walked over here to give us how many batteries? Six. <laughs> That's all we ordered. And this is the moment of truth. Ooh, are you going to vlog? Is your first vlog going to be you vlogging, me vlogging you? I don't even know what that means. You got me. Gotcha. I just you know see? that the plus and the minus go where the plus and the minus go. go yeah. Click. No, <laughs> Briggy's been like this for the past hour. <laughs> Guess what I'm buying her right now. You're buying her something? Yeah. Uh, I saw that and I was like, uh, 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 Oh, a I dog scarf? A costume? The lion's mane. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Cute. But are you ready? Here, you do the honors. Hit that button. Give it a nice firm push. Go. I know, I have to wait for this thing to... Wait, it's the record's right, 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 right there. Right here, right here. Oh, Turn on one. the mic. A firm push. Oh, dud. There we go. Here we go. Bam. All we right. Are up and running. I'm about what? Who cares? Just keep talking. I'm about. I'm gonna just turn it off. What is that? It's not your phone, is it? Is it not? I don't know. But I'm about to vlog it. Vlog it. I'm about to vlog. The vlog. Oh shit! Our first vlog on our new cam. In three, two. Two, hold on, it's not even secured tightly. Hold on. In three, two, one. Vlogging. Whoa. Vlogging. Oh, what is going on? She's fed up with our shit. One of the things that I wanted to test was this mic. So I'm speaking from behind the mic right now. See how that sounds. Can I have a conversation with someone? Hey. hey. How are you doing the name? Horrible. Horrible, okay, oh, cool. And now I'm gonna test it this way. Hey Nadim, how are you doing? Amazing. Okay, cool. So we're gonna see how the audio sounds with <laughs> okay, me okay, next funny. to it versus <laughs> behind it. Okay. That's it. Okay, let me see the footage. No, after you recorded it. Oh, snaps. Focus, 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 focus. Ugh. No focus, not today. Okay, that's why we're changing cameras. Shit. But to really see the effects of the sound, I gotta put that. Oh, fine. Well, there you have it. But I we postmated. Right we postmated six nine volt batteries. Thank you, 2016. So I have a slight predicament because tonight is the barbell brigade banquet so we got to dress up a little bit nicer than usual which i am at least i think i am and i have a uh a button down shirt that's like burgundy and white i have like this olive green long coat but the problem is i don't know what to do with the shoes so on one hand i want to go with something a little bit more on the casual end and have these shoes but on the other hand, I'm thinking that brown and this green and I'm wearing blue pants and this red woven shirt. It's just too many colors. So I need something to pull it together. And I thought, okay, why don't I go with these green shoes? So that way it at least matches with the rest of my outfit. Uh, let me ask person number one. Ma Bear, yes, baby. what do you think I should oh. wear? Should I wear? the brown shoes with my outfit or should I wear the green shoes with my outfit? Hmm. Can I see a side? I have to see from the side. Okay, so this is Okay, let me see the other side. That's brown. And then this is mint. Mint. Ooh, they both look really good, but one looks more playful than the other and I would go with the brown. Why? Because the brown just, it pulls everything together because you have the same shade and tone, right? So you have the olive green, you have a burgundy, 
and you have like this burnt yellow, if you will. Um, so then that pulls the whole look together. Now on the other side, you have this mint color <clears throat> that's not balancing anything that you're wearing other than the white, uh, what is it? The, the white threading in your pants because they're ripped. The, this part right here? The right, the white thread. But also yeah. it balances out the green mm -hmm. in the jacket. Uh, well, they're so different greens that no, it doesn't. All right, let me go ask someone else. Time to get a second opinion because I am stuck between what I should wear. What do you guys think I should wear? Let me know in the comments below. If you're going to a banquet, and by the way, our banquet is hella casual. Would you wear something that's on the brown or would you wear on the green? Nadim. Nadim. All right, so Nadim is either showering or jacking off. I don't know what he's doing, but uh, I guess there's no help and it's up to me. We'll see what I wear later on. Just finished eating dinner right now, and they're about to serve dessert. And after they serve dessert comes the exciting part, which is we're gonna play a best of 2016 Barbell Brigade highlight video behind me where that movie is playing right now. That's where they're gonna play that. And I'm really excited to watch that because Evan just edited it, and he said he tried to come back, uh, compress as many moments as possible in under seven minutes and neither me or Gio have seen it yet. Well, I think the thing that's going to be crazy is one, we haven't seen it, so we haven't filtered to, through anything. Uh, two, we thought that we were going to have a room with uh, three walls at least, but if you turn the camera around, the other people on the other side, it's glass. So they're going to see everything we're watching and they're going to see it out of context. I don't know what he included. So hopefully it's appropriate. I mean, because <laughs> uh, I don't know if you guys saw this, but I think on Sarah's blog channel, uh, this one inside joke barbell brigade video called the Bondering is uploaded there, and there's a bunch of inside jokes in that video, and some of it's not appropriate uh, for public viewing. So I don't know what it's gonna look like, but I'm really excited to see that because uh, every year we look back and we do so much, right? And you kind of forget what you've done in the past eight to 12 months. So I'm like, really excited to see that. And secondly, what I'm really excited to see, my Bill, is um, I'm really excited to see our award ceremony. Yes. Because a lot of them are based off of inside jokes. They are. And, and, and we know that everyone's been telling it, so we don't want to single people out and just be like, you're the best, best attendance. Like, it's so cold. So we want it to be awards that everyone as a family already makes fun of. Like, if someone has big feet, they call him, like, fucking smalls or something. So that's what the awards are based off of. Like, really Wait, if cute you under, things. if you understand that, how come you always get mad at me when I flirt with you in my way well, or I call you a big stinker or if I call you like little miss ugly like obviously you know you're beautiful that's fine but with family you know that they're stuck with you and they love you unconditionally right but with you you're not family or you have 
Hold on before you make this face. But with you, you're my you're my hubby, right? So you can give me conditional love if you wanted to, right? Because you have no real obligation to me, no real tie, right? But you need to give me love and cutie and then your version of flirt somewhere in the middle. So you need to treat me like a princess and then you can make fun of me. But it has to be even with you. It's like princess down here, make fun up here. Well, to me, it's because it's already given we're family, we're married, you have my last name. So obviously, I love you unconditionally. So I should be able to call you big stinker, big ugly, big fat face 24-7. And you should know that that is all love. Turn it around. Well, now you've actually have been doing a great job of balancing that. So for that reason, you can call me Big Snake and I'm like, oh, that's so cute because you've been giving me more emotion. I'm more cutie and, I, and, and now you go, wow, mom, you look so beautiful. Where you would always be like, now you're verbalizing what you feel in your heart, which is amazing. So you can call me Big Snake now. So based off that, that's what our awards is going to be like. <laughs> That's so our award is gonna be like that. So, for example, let me show you. Let me show you guys a sneak peek of what it looks like. Uh, let's see. Oh, so for example, like Lou, he, um, Lou, or oh, not Lou. Uh, let me see. Okay. So uh, let me let me find one. So okay. Uh, one time, Evan, the guy that's editing the highlight video, one time he was peeing, and as he was peeing, Lou went over the stall and took a picture of his dick and then he made like this little flip book that slowly gets to his dick and he called it the story and then so he would go around the barbell brigade staff and be like hey you want to see Evan's story and it would start off like somewhere innocent and end up on his dick and we're like you know catch people off guard so for Evan we have biggest story and so there's other uh, inside jokes like uh, like uh, Demi, she's lesbian, so hers is, let's be honest, hands down, the best DJ. You know how lesbians, they like to DJ record play? So those are just like one small taste of what the awards are gonna be like. I'm really excited because uh, I think award ceremony that are too serious, you know, for a company like this, I think mean, it, it, it stiffens everyone up and it makes the company feel cold. Our goal is to make the company feel warm like family. So I can't wait to pass out these awards and see the looks on people's faces. Like uh, inside these jars though, they're actually really legit. So if you look at them, there's it's actually like frosted glass on the inside. So they're actually really, really legit. So I can't wait to give these out. And uh, yeah.